hold on, now, hold on, now. <laughs> okay, now nah, I just found out. Now nah, I just found out why Bill Haney. Not, not just the fact that he found out that Brian Garcia, he sample, came back positive, but the hair sample came back negative. That's so nah, I ain't even gonna get into that. But I'm just going crazy because now I know why Bill Haney really mad. Like, why Devin Haney is still feeling some type of way, but why Bill Haney is going crazy all over social media. Just going crazy. But I mean, he ready to, he he ready to, to, to be seen. Like, when he literally see Ryan Garcia, it's like, when, when it comes, when it's like, when it comes to Bill, when it comes, when it comes to Bill Haney, it's on site. He that, I'll say he that. Bro, I'm going crazy, bro. I know I just ain't, I just, I know I just ain't run across this, bro. I know, that's why, this is why Bill Haney is really upset. <laughs> Knocking them out, you know, it's a competitive fight, you know, that you that you start with the edge and then you lose the knockdown. And I mean, you, you, you did your thing, right? But as far as like you saying, uh, you're number one, best in the world, you know what I'm saying? You got some ways to go, brother. <laughs> but anyway, look at pictures. <laughs> Sandwich. What the fuck did I just 
Somebody go get that boy some milk in a sandwich. He said, go get him some milk. Now, what goes along with milk? A peanut butter and jelly sandwich, right? A peanut butter and jelly sandwich goes along with your milk. That's what kind of sandwich he's talking about. I know he is. Really did it for the kids, not myself. WC, please, someone take his belt. I really hit him with a little baby. Fail. The whole world was watching you pack up. Hell. They didn't think that I would win, but I won. Hold on, so he said he hit this man with a left. With a boom left, and he failed. Everybody saw you take a L. What the world? I'm done. You know what? I can't. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Nah, I see what I see. I see what people been telling me. I see what people been telling me. I see why people, when they see Ryan is on site, when they see Ryan is on site, like he ain't team doing no talking, just straight at Ryan, at Ryan going at Ryan, like he's gonna look at he looking to let it close line Ryan, Kane style, MC like brother Kane style. Just clothesline that man. As soon as he see it, he see him out the public, boom, just clothesline him. You know what I'm saying? He want that kid head. He is upset. He's mad, but I understand. Um, he's a father. That's his son. His brother's son was cheated. He said, like Ryan Garcia had to go by. Had to, I ain't want to get into all that. I just know it's just a father protecting his son, coming to his son offense. Uh, 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 offense. Um, uh, Defense, I'm sorry, defense. You know, so I just, it's just a father just being a father. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that you feel like this son was robbed of a big opportunity. Uh, or I, pre I, pre I feel like this is, was a big deal because even though the belt was still going back to Devin Haney due to the fact that Ryan Garcia missed weight, uh, missed weight and uh, came overweight, um, he, he, he's no longer able, uh, eligible to fight for the title. So, Devin shouldn't, you know, no, no, you know, he had to, it was money. Of course, he had to, you know, had to pay, I think it was like 500000 for each uh, pound that he missed because he came over three, three pounds. So, it was 500000 each pound. So, okay, get, we got that. And I heard it was a money, uh, it was a money issue regarding, you know, Devin Haney and Ryan that Devin didn't get paid. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff surfacing and going on. I mean, being shared all over in the, the internet, all over the web, and, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't know what what's going on on that part, but all I know is that you know, Devin, you know, is fighting for the, you know, for, you know, title one pretty much on the line, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I feel like, you know, honestly, I feel like, you know what I mean? Like, I just wish Ryan would have came in, you know what I'm saying? Because it was still a big fight. It was still a big fight because it was a rivalry going on between the two. And the amateurs is, is still came over, it came and it trans and it transitioned over to and it came over to professional boxing where, you know, these guys were making a name for themselves. Of course, you know, Devin was uh Devin more accomplished between the two as far as the youngest fighter, you know, um in history to to become undisputed, you know, at one thirty five and on his way to become undisputed. Again at 140, which is the goal, which is the mission. So, um, you know, uh, Devin Haney also, you know, uh, most definitely, uh, most definitely, uh, you know, fighting Ryan, you know, just kind of like breaking that tie. They three and three in the amateurs, and this was a rivalry fight, big fight. You know, of course, they you know, young superstar fighters, so of course the fight was going to most definitely bring a lot, a lot of attention to a lot of young minds, middle aged minds, and elderly minds. A lot of elderly people even became fans of these guys too. Not a higher percentage than young, young, young adults from teens to young adults to um, middle-aged adults like myself, and, and slightly kind of pushing towards senior citizen status as far as middle-aged adults. So yeah, it, it was big. <laughs> but this is why I feel angry, man. I see why you're mad now. I see why you're upset now. I see why.